They said it would never happen, that it couldn't be done in the 21st century. But here they come at last, smashing through every dimension. Complete creature feature shows from the golden age, hosted by the king of TV horror hosts, John Stanley. Watch original commercials. Thrill to Stanley's exclusive in-studio segments. See with your own eyes a complete motion picture. The spectacle never stops coming at you in two dimensions. Before there could be Godfather, there had to be Battle Beyond the Sun, a voyage into the void of cinematic emptiness. The motion picture you are about to see can be called today a fantasy of the future. But one day, maybe not too far distant, audiences will be able to look back on it in the same spirit with which we view pictures about the first covered wagons crossing the plains. Thrill to the Russian film that Francis Ford Coppola renovated for producer Roger Corman so that Coppola could have a movie career. Gasp and utter awe to John Stanley's incredible five-part interview with Frank Gorshin, whose miraculous voice impersonates the stars. Hear Burt Lancaster breathlessly say... So what are you doing, making fun of me? <laughs> bite the bullet and pass the ammunition to see John Stanley's tribute to comic book artist Russ Heath. Marvel at artwork taken directly from the war and horror comic books of the 50s, direct from the pages of Stan Lee's Atlas Comics, uncut in all its fury, close-up scenes of the horrors of war, and the stark imagery of Heath's supernatural classics. Unleash your brain for Martin Rosen. Bay Area producer of the dog-eared classic, Watership Down. And thrill to the behind-the-scenes story about Rose's second feature, The Plague Dogs, one of the rarest of all animated cartoons. I didn't. I didn't really want to make another animated feature. You'll be hounded to death by the details. Watch Mystified as colorful, sad-eyed character actor Harry Dean Stanton comes on Creature Features to put down the one movie he'll always be remembered for, Alien? Um, I don't know, this is, <laughs> this is a dangerous thing to say on this show, but I've never been a fa fan of uh, science fiction or space films, really, except mm -hmm. for 2001. Mm -hmm. But uh, this director is, he was the ace in the hole there. He, Ridley Scott. Yeah. See Horror Express, starring Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing with Telly Savalas in a startling guest role. Like no other British film from the Hammer era, a revenge-hungry monster attacks the dining car. Definitely not a sleeper. Buy your ticket now and make tracks to see this chiller-diller thriller. Your eyes will water over watching Incredible Petrified World with an incredibly petrified cast, with the exception of John Carradine, one-time Shakespearean star turned B-picture player, who saves all others from Screen Guild oblivion. Sinks to new lows. Wave goodbye, for time and tide have never waited for this movie. Has never before told, Two films documenting the history of Creature Features, the most popular show in the San Francisco Bay Area for 14 years. First, watch horror films, keep America strong, thrill to fascinating behind-the-scenes escapades, meet the original host Bob Wilkins, followed immediately by John Stanley. And, on the same DVD program, I was a TV horror host. The John Stanley story is only John Stanley could have told it. The real truth others were too frightened to reveal. The ultimate expose about the greatest unreality show of all time, Creature Features. Learn the history of horror hosting in America as far back as Vampira in the 1950s. Visit the historic Castro Theater in San Francisco as John Stanley takes you on a cinematic journey into the past, revealing the mysteries of celluloid strips. Learn about the secret desires of Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, and learn the truth about Bob Wilkins, horror host supreme who taught John Stanley the ultimate facts of life about TV horror hosting. Thrill to John Stanley in his mini-movie, Return to Casablanca. Visit the Psycho House at Universal when he meets Norman Bates face to face. See Stanley ruthlessly pursued by Christine the Killer Car. See him thrown from the back of a hearse when he interviews the star and director of Phantasm. 
and visit the Oakland, California TV station where Creature Features once thrived. And now from the DVD archives of yesteryear, The Best of John Stanley, a two-hour history of movie trailers no word to describe them. Plus, interviews with Charlton Heston, Star Wars producer Gary Kurtz, Psycho 2 director Richard Franklin, another incredible DVD, Star Trek The Roots of Khan, exclusives with Leonard Nimoy, William Shatner, DeForest Kelly, Ricardo Montalban, a journey across the universe at maximum warp speed that you will not forget. Incredible! It's here at last! The book they said couldn't be done. John Stanley's autobiographical, I Was a TV Horror Host. 559 photographs, portraits of fellow horror host Bob Wilkins, plus Stanley's own memoirs, encounters with the best horror and sci-fi icons of all time. People like Ray Bradbury, Robert Block, Vincent Price, Christopher Lee, William Castle, Ray Harryhausen. The list goes on and on. It's endless. But wait, there's more to come. Because here it is at last. The incredible DVD companion to the awe-inspiring book, I Was a TV Horror Host. Interviews with Arnold Schwarzenegger. He, he brings a certain leadership to the set. You know, we always choke. We always say that he's the dog trainer and we are the dogs. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why, well, yes, John. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, very interesting, you know. Anthony Perkins. I've referred to the character of Norman as kind of the Hamlet of horror roles. <laughs> Rick Baker. Each one moves individually. Yeah, that's the album that's individually really by, by this movement. Max von Sydow. Uh, did you find it difficult to play a black-hearted villain? No. No, not at all. It was a pleasure. I enjoyed it. Mamie Van Doren. Yeah, the original sex kitten herself. Now, is that number four? Uh, Husband number four? Yeah, four. Number four. Mm -hmm. I, I lost track last night. <laughs> so I did I. <laughs> the only hardcover Creature Features movie guide, the fourth edition that sold across the nation, across all seven seas, across the solar system, nay, across the universe. There's only 40 copies left, so hurry, hurry, hurry! 5,614 reviews, 350 photos, 26 original drawings, the rarest item on the Creature Features rack. So backtrack to rack it up before you're sent to the rack! Wow, you're not going to believe this one. The 1981 first edition of the Creature Feature Movie Guide, it's still in print. The book that kicked off the series and led to five more editions. Editions that rocked and socked the sci-fi horror worlds for two decades and still counting. Watch this screen for important information how you can obtain any or all of the classic items from the Creature Feature archives that we have just described to you. Don't you dare leave the planet without them. Hi, I'm John Stanley. Hey, I want to thank you fans for your continued devotion and dedication to the spirit and memory of Creature Features. You know, the show left the air 25 years ago and here we are still going strong. Uh, this very featurette shows you how many DVDs and books that we have available for you. And you know, these four new DVDs are just the beginning. We have several other projects uh, lined up for you. Also want to thank you for your emails, especially those pertaining to the death of Bob Wilkins back in 2009. Really meant a lot to us at the time. And now I want you to meet the trio of terror. First, my cinematographer, my cameraman, my editor, Wayne Hess. The only man who could keep me in sharp focus. And now I would like you to meet our graphic designer, the man who designed the covers for the new DVDs and who's been doing a lot of extra work for us lately, the one and only Bobby Cannon. Welcome, Bobby the third member of the Trio of Terror. He's the greatest Creature Feature fan of all. He is the official archivist, and he allowed us to come into that archive to photograph for one of our DVDs, the one and only Tom Wersch. Tom, what have you got that's new for me? 